Okay, that sounds simple, but what are the logistics of sending money to 150 million individuals who annually file tax returns, not to mention seniors and others who don't file returns? And is the IRS up to the task? We bring in former IRS Commissioner Mark Everson, who ran the IRS from 2003 to 2007. Mark, good to see you. We got a lot of questions from basic logistics to more complicated issues. But first, and I'm simplifying it, but what does it take to start up the check writing machine? machines in this case? Well, Liz, it's an awful lot of work because the IRS each year it gets 155 million individual returns, more or less. And so that's the number of payments they're going to make, plus other people who don't have to file a return. So you get up to some pretty big numbers. And the secretary indicates there are an awful lot of people where the service has the banking information for those individuals. That will go pretty smoothly, I would imagine. If the numbers I've seen, it's something like 60 million of that population. But they're going to have to issue an awful lot of checks to people who don't get direct deposits into their bank accounts. So, if you will, um, the real problems here, Liz, are not going to be with the bulk of the transactions. Those are going to go smoothly. I think the IRS will step up and do just fine. But even, let's say, 2 percent of the transactions are difficult because they don't have the right information. 2 percent of a number like 160 or 170 million is uh, that's 3 million. So that's a big number that'll take special handling. Yeah, I would think, Mark, a perfect answer to that, because that's what I think people are listening for. But let's say that you have a, a senior citizen, for example, who hasn't filed tax returns in a long time. The IRS doesn't have the correct bank information. And perhaps that senior doesn't have access to the Internet. Well, that last point you just made, Liz, is really important. Right now, there are an awful lot of people who do interact on the Internet, but they can't go to the library if that's where they go to do it. So people, especially who need the money, who are at the low end of the economic strata, they've, they've got an issue here. Now, the service is working, as you know, to set up a portal where people can go to to give them the information so that then they can be, uh, they can get the money in a bank account. But that'll all take, again, access. And frankly, uh, my concern here, Liz, is that the IRS is a pretty reliable piece of the government. Uh, but if they cut corners or they move too fast, and it's understandable why they're under pressure, my worry here is that we could have some sort of a, a data breach if they don't take their time and do this correctly. Well, exactly. If the people are going to the library, I'm not saying libraries aren't secure, but this is certainly a concern. You know, we can put up on the screen what people need uh, and what they'll get. $1,200 for individuals making under 75 k 2400 for couples making under 150000 and then the list goes on here. 500 per child, no income limit, $5 less for every 100 above the income cap. Uh, what concerns do you have, aside from security, on this process? We know that the IRS has uh, suffered severe cutbacks in the last several years. Are there enough people to pull this well, that's off? that's really it. Um, the budget cuts, as you know, have been pretty draconian. And so they're thinly manned. And then, like any other organization, a lot of their workforce can't come to work during this time. And frankly, Liz, the workforce skews older. So many of those people, they're already retirement eligible, or they may have an aging parent that they're taking care of. So that adds an additional element of stress. The other thing I would say for your viewers is many people, they're trying to get through, just like the loans that opened up on Friday. People are going to try and get through on the phones. They, they aren't going to be successful if they do that, dealing with the IRS, because those those call center people just aren't there. The best way to get the information is to go to the website, irs.gov, and to try and access information there. And as the secretary has indicated, they will be putting up this portal where you can provide information to, uh, to the government so that they'll know where to get you your money. Okay. Mark Everson served in the IRS under George W. Bush and, of course, worked for Ronald Reagan. And you've been a real servant. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much for giving us some answers that we needed. Can Mark I make Everson one more now point, Liz, if you have just three seconds? Real quick. Is that okay? Well, yeah, really quickly. We're, we're coming up against okay. a break. Yeah, I'm with Alliant Group and we work with businesses to take advantage of the R&D tax credit and other areas of the code that they may not 
that they may have overlooked. It's really important right now for taxpayers to go back and make sure they've yeah, taken true. advantage of every benefit to which they're entitled to under the existing code, not just the new relief package. That's important. Absolutely. And you're important and your answers are important. Thank you, Mark Everson.